Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zuhu CRM to Power BI in 2024. This integration of course will allow you to visualize your CRM data in Power BI, giving you some deeper insights into your business. So today we will guide you through the steps to set up this connection seamlessly. Of course, you'll need to go through a step-by-step -step guide, so make sure to follow this step by step guide in here and make sure to stick by and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open a browser here of course i'm using brave for you you can use whatever you want once you open that browser basically you will need to visit of course uh, zuhu crm so just go here and type like as an example zuhu crm and hit the enter button uh, once you do so just go to this first link as you can see and you will find yourself in their home screen or main screen by the way if you have an account by any chance just go and click on sign in at the top right corner if you don't click on get started here so you can create your account right away so for me as an example as you can see once you're trying to sign in you'll be able to sign in with all these options as you can see a lot of options if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account so if you have one of these accounts you can simply just sign in with it or even as an example uh, sign up with uh, LinkedIn or Google, whatever suits you. So for me here, I'll just go and sign in with my Google account because I created my account using a Google account. And of course, by considering like Google will share everything, so you don't have to fill it manually. Google will do it uh, by its own. So as you can see here, for me, my enterprise trial has expired, so I'll just go and continue in the free edition, of course. And yeah. So as you can see, we are here in like Zuhu CRM. Of course, we'll need to go and open Power BI as well. So you need to just go here again to the URL section, just type Power BI, go to the first link and make sure to sign in into your account. Of course, again, if you have one, if you don't, you'll need to go and start for free. If uh, you want to download this, of course, be my guest and download it. It's actually up to you for me. I'd prefer, of course, using the option on desktop downloaded. It's much better for me personally but of course if you don't want to use it like uh, or if you don't want to download this on your desktop it's actually up to you to use it in the online or the web browser it's totally fine so basically first we'll need to uh, have a Zuhu CRM account with the necessary permissions of course to access the API and data exports features so make sure to have that of course, now, basically, once you are on your, uh, like, uh, Power BI, all you need to do, of course, you can just go here and open something or whatever you want, of course, as you can see in here. As you can see, you can get data from a lot of sources in here. Blank reports, one lake data, Excel, etc. If you go here and click on the plus button, as you can see, so you can get, of course, data from these four sources or you can get from another source. And, of course, we'll look for Zuhu. So I'll just go here and type Zuhu as you can see. So we'll find the Zuhu right here. So I'll just go and click on it, then click on connect. As you can see, connecting to third party servers, the Zuhu creator connects relies on the third party servers as such features and availability may vary, of course, over time. We attempt to release updates when changes, of course, occur. And but can't guarantee the results of your queries when using this connector. Of course, you can learn more about the service of that if you want to. For me, I'll just go and check this. Don't worry again. Then click on continue. And of course, basically, it will pop up a page right now for me. So let me just wait. And as you can see here, all I need to do now is enter my domain. Depending, of course, on my Zuhu. Is it Zuhu-like.com or whatever it is. Of course, for me, it's going to be like Zuhu.com. Of course, if you are in Europe, as an example, it might be this. If you are in Australia, it might be this. So it's depends on you after that of course you'll have to enter your workspace name application link name then report link name well you'll get all of that of course you'll get us right here from your zuhu crm so just go and fill up all those informations then click on ok and as you can see once you do so you will be able to connect the two of them and you can start uh, like exporting or importing data from zuhu crm and even from power pi to zuhu crm as you can see very simple other than that, of course, there's an option like there's a third party tool called Zapier, which I will try to use. I don't know if it will be available for this video, but we will check it out. So, of course, you'll need to log in into your account if you have an account, as an example. And if you don't have an account, you'll need to go and create an account. For me, I'll just go here and click on login. I'll log in with Google so I don't have again to do through or to go through all the boring steps of filling up my information. And again, I'll just go here and click on continue. And as you can see, once you're logged in, you'll find yourself on a place like this. So simply just go to the slips panel, click on apps in here. Once you do so, of course, here you'll have to look for both Zuhu CRM as an example. So just look for that first. 
as an example. So we have Zuhu CRM here. We can simply just go and click on connect. And as you can see, this pop will pop out into us. And here we'll have to enter the Zuhu or domain. Of course, you can select the domain to your Zuhu account belongs to. Of course, you can simply just select one of those, which is this one. As example for me then click on yes continue and as you can see i'll be taken here to simply click on accept to accept all this access and etc i'll allow it of course for me and so can uh, zapier can access it and once i do so as you can see my zoho crm account is now connected i'll have to do the same basically with like uh, power bi so i'll just go here and type power bi as an example but as it seems power bi is not is not existed at the moment of course, why I try to tell you about this Zapier, because it's an automation tool that will let you not just connect two things with each other, but also will let you uh, like automate a lot of stuff. So as you can see, if I go here to Zaps, as you can see, I have a lot of things like connected to each other. You can create unlimited Zaps. You can automate a lot of stuff between two platforms if it's available here in like Zapier. And if it's not available, of course, you can always contact the supports and ask them to add it, and they will definitely add it if it, they see it's worth it so keep that in mind so i guess like that's it for me of course as a summary we'll just go here uh, to open your power bi of course if your users in the browser it's up to you you'll basically have to do the same you can just go and click on get data from another source as an example and simply look for zuhu as you can see you'll find this right here just go and click on connect choose zuhu.com or whatever you have in the url right here so let me just go close this as you can see for me i have zuhu.com as you can see nothing um like after.com so you'll have to do the same just go and enter zuhu.com i don't have any of those i have zuhu.com and here i'll have to enter the workspace name as an example also the application link name and the report link name that I want as an example to import it into my Power BI so I can establish that connection. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.